when you go through YouTube, YouTube thumbnails, you see on the matter of of the conflict in the East, or uh, better known as the conflict in Ukraine, you see that there are proeminent propagandists such as I, I made a video about one of them the guy Jake Bro but there is there is another one they, they fall into different categories of, uh, of subject they talk about <laughs> and like me who, who is a, a specialist in, in general things uh, and so for example economics they have one this one guy but they have more than one but there's there's uh, this one guy I don't know if you if you seen him this uh, I think he's English it's Joe blogs channel and uh, this Joe blogs the first time I saw him I watched a video of him this guy really disguises well of a specialist really really this guy really goes I mean his videos are full of charts and references and studies and one of his main points about this uh, about the geopolitics of, of the conflict in Ukraine was and still is in some of, uh, of more recent videos the collapse of Russia and through the economy <laughs> and at first uh, I when I watched some of his videos I was not equipped to deal with that uh, it's a lot of information he puts out in, in, in a video and it does really look like the guy knows what he talks about. I mean, he brings out charts. Uh, he brings out uh, university studies. Was it, what was the university? Was it Oxford? Cambridge? One of those, a big one. University studies. To uh, make his point about Russia, why Russia is is collapsing because in the present when he speaks in the Russia is about to collapse Russia is collapsing Russia is doomed Russia is you know this kind of thumbnails and if you go back and watch his first videos because one thing might be a guy like me right a guy like me I'm a worker I have other uh, I have other skills, other st things that I have studied, but but I'm nevertheless I'm a full-time shift worker. I do my part in the community, my political participation. I got a family. I got a <laughs> I grow some food. I do a lot of shit. So my time is really I don't I don't have a lot of time. Free time. I mean. I try to make as most as I can. So, and I do this podcast, right? And uh, sometimes uh, I read stuff, and I read a lot of stuff. And one of the one of the viewers pointed out that I try to make a lot of connections between different things. Uh, and and I do. When I see a connection, I say it. I will not give it to you as science that you can be sure I will never give it to you as the truth I will always give it to you as my impression is my thoughts I'm just sharing my thoughts on this video but this guy this guy shares it with you as accurate science and if you are unaware if you are unaware I mean it's very hard not to fall for it this channel is huge by the way I gotta make I gotta make a, a video about those because <laughs> it's nice to compare all these very well informed and documented 
predictions <laughs> against mine. <laughs> so I see trends and I put it out. I always give the you know the what do you say the disclaimer is like of course it's, it's just my opinion. I mean it's, it's worth what it's worth. I'm not here saying that oh I can I see everything I understand better than all. No no it's just like I said repeating myself but it, it has to be clear. I am laying out my my thoughts. That's it. And I do know the difference between common sense and science. And I, I don't, uh, I, I, I do value a lot the work, the scientific work, the scientific knowledge. Anyway, all that aside, this guy Joe Bloggs, uh, I remember he giving, I mean, he, he puts out numbers, he giving like Russia dozens of. Um, tens of percentual points in GDP fall in the beginning tens I mean it was like if you go and look at the numbers of the of the collapse of, of the Soviet Union they were similar the numbers he was he was laying out to 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 predict what was going to happen in the Russian economy and I think now that I think, I'm going to make a connection, because now that I think, I think he, he went back and he got the numbers, the history of the of Soviet Union, and, and then I don't know, because he cites a lot of studies, so I don't know if these studies were bought by someone, or, uh, and then he just laid them out, these numbers, because they were absurd numbers of, an, of a collapsed economy. Of course, nothing like that happened. He kept predicting it. It did not happen. And that's why I know it's bullshit now, right? Because I, I, would, I wouldn't I would have uh, many ways to know that. I mean, I would have to dig a lot into it to find out. Of course, I, I, I would find out for sure, but it would be a very costly, time costly work for me. And I, I, I can't do that. I mean, I, I see some things that I really want to they really smell fishy, they really don't add up, but I don't have enough time to compile all the information and and to to edit a video. See, that's that, that's my uh, problem. So I advise you to go and see this Joe Bloggs predictions early in the war. And then and once in a while he keeps giving out these predictions. Same as this guy Jake Bro, like uh, Russia will collapse. You remember Jake Bro in the video if you watched it, the video I I made. Russia will collapse. It's as simple as that. It just takes more time. And I, me, the ignorant worker, I lay it out to you. It will not. If you have, if you like to feel happy and have that thought, go ahead. But nothing points out to that. Um, when the Soviet Union was about to collapse, if you, I haven't been there because I was too young. I was about 13 when it when it happened. But when it was about to collapse, we had already images of life in the Soviet Union. They had, for example, supermarket and store shortages, acute shortages. Uh, and this was like the main sign. If you go to Russia nowadays, there are no shortages of anything. You have cities which are models to European cities now. Cleaner, safer. And I talked to the Russians about this, and they 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 stand in awe <laughs> with all the transition that they saw with their own eyes. So no wonder people rallied about Putin. Russia did get better, did get much better. But anyway, about these Joe blogs, you go check this guy out. 
What I am <coughs> amazed is that guys like this, they have, they have hundreds of thousands of views, and they have huge channels. They outright lie. I mean, I can I, I can make mistakes, obviously. Anyone can make mistakes. But when you lay it out like that with so much documentation and you keep insisting on that one, you you are for me your cover is your cover is blown and you are a full blown propagandist. A good one, like a con man. You have a lot of it almost seems true, but it is not. And people and it, the channel does not diminish uh, does not diminish uh, size or anything. And uh, some people maybe just want to hear their preach. The preacher says the giving out the sermon. I think maybe that's it. I watch all. I watch both Russian and both West Western propaganda. And uh, let me tell you, and I've spoken this in the past, here in these videos, Western propaganda is it's it does annoy me a little bit. Okay, I hope I see you on the next one. It's a lot of fog today. I'm driving a little bit too fast. Gotta get to work.